I want us to read Isaiah chapter uh, 58 to find out the fasting that God desires. Many people fast and they pray and they thought that uh, they're doing God a favor by just fasting and praying. And God is saying, um, which fast that I desire? And he's asking the people, he's saying, cry aloud and spare not in Isaiah 58. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Tell my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me daily. Yet, and delight to, to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and did not forsake the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching God. Why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen? Why have we afflicted our souls and you take no notice? In fact, in the, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure and exploit all your laborers. Indeed, you fast for strife and debate, and to strike with the fist of wickedness. You will not fast as you do this day, to make your voice heard on high. Is it a fast that I have chosen, a day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head like a bulrush, and to spread out sackcloth and ashes? Would you call this a fast and an acceptable day to the Lord? Is this not the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bounds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? Is it not to spare your bread, to share your bread with the hunger, and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out? And there are so many other examples that the Lord says, this is what I need. Dear friends, are we really listening to the commandments of the Lord God? Are we taking God for a genie God that you can put into a little box and then when you need him, you take him out. And when you don't need him, you put him back in. Do we know who we are dealing with? Do we know the God that made us do we understand him i must say before i go further if you don't know this god try and go home and pray earnestly and ask god to reveal himself to you because i'm telling you that your imagination of god doesn't make him god you may have an imagination that this is the god of the bible but that doesn't make him god remember that the heart of man is desperately wicked and deceiving. You should not trust your heart. I must say, open up your Bibles and read the Word of God for yourself and ask God to reveal Himself to you personally. Don't just go to church and listen to bishops and preachers or read books. Trust the Word of God and God's Word alone. I know what I'm talking about. I have been there. I have been through it. I know the religious spirit. And I'm saying, make sure that the work of regeneration is done in you. These people, they were fasting. They made up the fast and they starved themselves just to get God to hear them. But the very simple things that God said to, the, to do, God said, what fasting I want you to do? I want you to ensure that you help your brother, man. Make sure that your family relatives that you have cut off and you don't help, but you take your money and you take it to an organization and your family members are hungry, you neglect them, but you are giving charitab charitable deeds, or give deeds to charity, just to be seen by them or to be heard by them. Let me say this. There are many people who have parents back in the Caribbean and you may have parents in England and around the world and you neglect them. But you profess to be a Christian. You may have your father and your mother. You don't even know where they are. You may have your siblings, your brothers and your sisters and 
They may be hungry and dying for thirst and dying for hunger. They need your love. They need your care. You could do better to help them. They are, you, they, you put them into the, 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 uh, the, the government house and you just neglect them. And then you take your money and send it away to America and send it to all these ministries because you are expecting a breakthrough. Let me say this. God don't like that. That is an abomination to the Lord. God is saying, take care of your family. Take care of your siblings. Look for them. Call them up. Show them love. Help your house. Help your own flesh. And stop giving your money as a gambling to because you want something from people. You want people to say, okay, I can send 500 pounds to you and I give you a miracle, co um, uh, uh, a miracle cloth. That's rich witchcraft. Take your money and use it and help your brother man. They are hungry probably in the Caribbean. They are hungry probably uh, somewhere in the ghetto in America and they need help. It's, they are your own flesh and blood. It is normal to help your own family. Help them with your money. And if you have any left and there's anybody around you, help them too. But don't take your money, all your money, and take it to church and give it to the pastor. And most of the times, I'm telling you, you don't know where that money go. Help people around you. Love your brother, man. Love your mother and your father. This is the fasting that God said, I want. He said, I want you, if you are an employer, pay the right wages. Give the men and the women who work for your company the right money. This is what God is saying to us. Make sure you are honest. But just don't neglect all of that. And then come and, 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 and get into sackcloth and ashes and fasting. Do we know who we are dealing with it? Do you know that God looks at your heart and he sees all of this hypocrisy that you're doing? And then you have your color as if you're a minister and you're, you, you, know, you cry and you worship God as if God want that. God knows your heart and he called you a wicked. Sort out your life and serve God in spirit and in truth. This is a fast he needs. He wants you to love one another. He wants you to love your brother man. Be your brother's keeper. That's who you are. Your own flesh and blood. Be his keeper. Call him up. Check him out. Is he all right? Is my sister all right? Is my family okay? Deal with them. Talk to them. And let them, at least they will want to know the God that you say you're serving. And many families don't want to know you. You're God. Because they said, if you are the way you're acting, I don't want to know the God you're saying that you're serving. And that's why the world is going to hell because families fail to teach their children and to act out what real religion is, what real salvation is. Salvation is loving your neighbor as yourself, loving people, take care of people, uh, show them love because God is love. This is what God is all about. And we have been, we were, God is a shame, it's a shame how Christians behave today and use the name of Jesus. We better, we need to be better and we need to do better. Because if we are Christians, we need to act like one. Because this is what God called us to do. This is a fasting. The true fasting. Well, good.